Hey fish tubers, just a short video that I'm going to make today. Uh, it's middle of May and trying to get some summer tubs going for breeding as well as growing plants. Uh, this is my 40 gallon tub right now and then I got a few rope handle tubs that I guess are about 17 gallons each. But today I'm going to be setting up the plants. Uh, just got some organic gardening soil, some little containers from the dollar store, some pea gravel, then inside the house I've got some uh, some plants that I'm planning on using. I've got some dwarf sagittaria, uh, I've got scarlet temple, uh, I've got some ludwigia, rotala. Uh, that's about it I can remember off the top of my head, but pretty much I'm going to line these with the newspaper here to prevent soil from going out of the holes. Then I'm going to put the soil down and then cover the soil with pea gravel and then plant my plants and then dunk them in the tub. So, all right, I'm going to cut now and then start to fill up the tubs. Here's my first tote lined up with newspaper. Now comes the soil. And now it's filled up with soil, probably about two to three inches worth of soil, at least up to my second knuckle. And then there's my pea gravel, probably about, and about an inch thick. I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of them all set up this way and then I'll bring out my plants and start planting. All right, so here goes. We've got four containers set up. Uh, I did test off video uh, how many containers fit in the 40 gallon tub, which is the only one that's set up right now. And I found that I could fit four containers in it. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these in there and then I'll probably let them settle for a bit because the pea gravel is really dusty. So it's probably gonna make a mess out of the water. Then once the water settles down, then I'll go ahead and bring some plants out and start planting. All right, so I just got them all inside of the tub. Uh, it's a little murky right now from all the dust from the uh, pea gravel, but that should sell in a little bit. I'm actually going to head inside and go start trimming some stuff out of my tanks and getting them ready to come outside. Uh, I also, once I got them inside the water, I ripped off some of the extra newspaper. That way it's not just billowing everywhere. I'm a little disappointed at this moment because should have probably gotten some smaller containers because it really uses up a lot of the real estate, but we'll see how it does for fish this summer. Uh, this tub here is probably going to be the only one with a ton of plants like this, but I'm uh, going to use this one probably for my marigold variatus platys. Uh, and then the other ones, I want to do one with, uh, I have three of them, so I want to do one with uh, glow light tetras just because I have a whole lot of glow light tetras and I'm trying to uh, do the breeders award program and get up to the level that I can start uh, breeding cares fish, uh, the endangered species fish. So uh, tetras are worth a decent amount of points. Uh, also maybe going to bring out my pair of angel fish because they're just regular breeders. I haven't ever uh, bought any of their fry to a large enough size though uh, but yeah so I'll we'll probably do those and I don't know what the fourth one's gonna be but I don't know we'll see but so I'm gonna put you guys on hold and I'm gonna go cut some trimmings for my plants and then I'll go ahead and get back to you so before we bring it outside I figured I would show you guys the plants that I'm planning on bringing outside so I got this little bunch of dwarf sag left over from uh, bowl that I was setting up for my little sister. I've got this plant here. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Maybe somebody can let me know or I might post it up on Reddit and see if somebody can identify it for me on there. I've got this little bunch of hydricolite uh, tripartia, uh, Japan clover. Uh, I have not had any good luck with that at all yet, but I'm going to see if uh, maybe it'll work better for me outside. Um, I've got more of that unknown plant there. 
And then I have this Bacopa Carolina. That's going to go outside with me, too. Uh, right back there, I have this one piece of, I think, Crypt Parva. I'm going to bring that outside as well. And then do have a couple pieces of Boost Wavy Green. Those are going to go outside. I've got this uh, Crypt Wendenai uh, Red. No, Undulata Red. Uh, let's see. Over here, I've got uh, AR Carolina. Then I've got this one big piece of uh, Anubius Coffifolia. I'm going to snip the end over here. Where's my finger? Over on this side and see if that might induce it to branch off. And then I'm gonna bring that outside for the summer as well. Um, and then also I'll show you my other tank. And then over in this tank, uh, planning on bringing out this big, huge Java fern mat. That's actually gonna be going to work for one of my uh, work tanks I'm setting up right now. Probably within another like, couple weeks, but see if the sun might be able to make it even larger. Uh, probably some of this Nubius up here as well. And actually, this is my pair of ain't Nope, actually, this is the male, the blue male angel. Uh, and then I have that female koi angel. They're the ones that are paired up. So I'm going to bring them outside in their own separate tub and see if they're able to breed and actually have some surviving fry. Uh, probably maybe take out some of this crypt outside as well. And I think that's about it from this tank. Yeah, so, and then glow light tetras. Gonna try and spawn those, as well as the marigold variatus bodies you saw in the last tank. All right, so that's everything complete for today. It's a little murky right now, but should clear up and I'll probably be setting up a sponge filter in here in a few days. But yeah, everything's all planted. So let's see how it does this summer.